ready to carve? You ready to carve? Pumpkins? It's like Christmas in October right now. I've been making these succulent pumpkins with succulents on top. I'll show you a photo right here of what I make. We can't keep them in the store. As soon as we put them out in the morning, they're gone within like a half hour. So I'm gonna take the plunge and try and do some chainsaw carvings. Um, it's like Christmas today. I just picked up this new steel MSA 200C with a, I think it's a 10 inch dime tip bar. So I picked up these chaps. I think they're like 12 layers of protection, something like that, but I'm gonna try them on. And what else did I get? I also got uh, some gloves. Protect those fingers from getting cut off. This is what I'll be using today to do some shaping. It's a shaping disc by Cutsall. It's a Cutsall Extreme, four and a quarter inch diameter with a seven eighth bore. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this sawhorse set up, get my chaps on, and I'll be back. And we'll give it a shot. So these are my gloves. This one has a lot more layers back here in case the saw kicks back. All right, guys, well, got my gloves and my chaps on. Got this just log that was laying around my yard. I think it's a birch. I don't know if that's the best wood to carve, but what Jordy says, the best wood to carve is free wood, and this was free. So for my first carving. I'm going to carve a, a jack-o'-lantern or a pumpkin. I'm going to cut this in half. Seems to cut pretty well. Move that one to the side. get to work. So the first one I'm going to do is cut where the stem is going to be. I'm going to just cut a square maybe an inch and a half down around the edge and cut everything off. So we got the stem blocked out. Now what we're gonna do is take off 
on an angle, like a 45 degree angle all the way around here and uh, make it more round. pretty tall pumpkin so I think what I'm gonna do I mean pumpkins can be tall but I think I'm gonna cut in around here and we'll do the same thing to the bottom I should have did the bottom first and I watched a lot of carving fusion videos how to do this some Ryan Cook videos and a few others and they all do it differently I guess I'll find my way after doing a few Liking it for my first one. It's a little heavy. I'll have to look how much of this weighs with the battery. I think it's around, I want to say 12 pounds, but um, we'll go from there. Let's get the shaping disc. I'm going to use this uh, extreme shaping disc from Cutsaw on my grinder. So I'm gonna go get that hooked up and we'll come back and clean this up. All right, I'm back. Got the Cuts All Extreme Flamber shaping disc on here. Uh, got my guard in place, gloves. I'm gonna try this sucker out. it quick so I might have to get me a few others that are less aggressive uh, I'm gonna try and work this thing and lay it flat for now Stem a little smaller. Try and work on that.
not so bad. It's just a little extreme for me. I'm gonna try and get a different shaping disc on there maybe. All right. I'm not sure if I wanna try a face or not. Clean up the top. One thing is for sure, if you're gonna try this, definitely get a jaw horse or some way to get your wood from not slipping around because it will. Definitely need bigger pieces of wood. But say free wood's good wood, right? What I need, Jordy, need one of the flat long uh flat discs. Right, I'm gonna hit it with this 80 grit sandpaper, clean it up a little bit, and then uh, we're gonna spray paint it. I know what I forgot, pumpkin lines. All right, so I'm gonna have to do that with the chainsaw. All right guys, GoPro battery died, but just a, uh, all the grooves. All right, we're gonna let that dry for a little bit and then we'll sand it and put some orange on. Not bad for my first pumpkin. Not all chainsaw. I'd say 80% chainsaw. But uh, definitely, if you're a first time chainsaw carver, I would try a much bigger piece. Um, that way I could have tried the eyes and the mouth with the chainsaw. But I'm gonna stick this in my store on Friday for anybody that wants them. I hope they'll have a few more. Um, so yeah, there we go. My first pumpkin and my first chainsaw carving.